Hello and welcome to Nailbooks Dungeon Master. This is a good little game. Basically, it's like a tower defense game, but you have to build when within the dungeon, like a, a tavern and and all sorts of things. But let's get straight into it. We'll go into the campaign. Do we wish to start the campaign? Yes. But yeah, this is an absolute brilliant game. I played about half an hour off screen just to try and get up to scratch with this game. But it is a really, really good game, I've got to say. Oh, but we're going to learn as we go. I didn't get too far into it, which is always a good sign. So there is that. But, uh, oh, descaling trolls, opening the tavern, <coughs> removing the glass ceiling, oh, jeez, uh, days in the tavern's products, probably not wise, preparatory summoning the, de oh, jeez, summoning the demons, uh, busting unions, order on the agenda, oh, comic books. And so here we go, straight into it. No messing around. Oh, start the wizard. So we've got Elbrook's Dungeon Master. Look at that. That is beautiful. The dungeon of Nalbuk has been one of the crown jewels of the lands of Fang. Huh, that's funny. I never heard of it when I was studying for my Bitter Warlock Sidekick certification. <laughs> um, public relations are tough for independent dungeons. Oh, aren't you affiliated with the Dungeons Fund? With those unscrupulous parasites? Never. <clears throat> but we do have the most insidious traps. The most cunning guards, the most dreadful monsters, and the most remarkable treasures. How delightful. May I look around? No, uh, we, we've been renovating. The paint's still wet. <laughs> well, what a, what a good cover story that was. Ah, uh, too bad. Okay. Despite our reputation being well established, <coughs> I've decided that this dungeon needs to take things to the next level. Yes, yes, the ad made that very clear. And I need more time for my magical research. Hmm, of course he does. Certainly. So, about my compensation, I... <coughs> well, let's not quibble over trifles. I'm aligned with industry norms. Not to mention there's the gratification of joining a renowned wizard. Hmm. <laughs> yes, of course. May I meet the other members of the team? Well, actually, not today. Mm -hmm. They're attending a seminar for process uh, improvement. You know what I mean. Process? The clock is ticking, and you're not the only applicant. What's your decision? This is a once-in-a-lifetime offer. I'm interested. Well, not like I have a choice anyway. Be interesting, no one's hiring it? half goblins. There's too much discrimination in this sector. Perfect, perfect. You made the right choice. And now? Yes? Get to work, you wretch! I don't pay people to stand around! <laughs> well, it didn't take long for that one to kick in, did it? Uh, yes, Master. All right, let's see. Where is the dungeon <coughs> stuff? What state are the premises in? I'll have a look around the property. <laughs> I wonder if signing this contract was such a good idea. Okay, so moving around, obviously, WASD, zoom in and out. Okay. First steps, beautiful. So, as you can see, its reputation is currently at one, which is really bad. A crappy dungeon. Oh, okay. Now, your goal is to improve it and make it the most feared and attractive dungeon in the land of Fang. Okay, so... So we've got to select Zangdar. There he is. If you'll let me click him. There we go. 
So this is Zangdar, uh, the master of the dungeon. When its patient gauge reaches zero, it's game over. So here is Zangdar's patient gauge. That's not the easiest thing to say, is it? So obviously, when these, when we uh, annoy him, this is going to go down. If it gets all the way to the bottom, it is game over for us. Okay. So Revax, where are you? You are. Oh, you're over here in the tap. That is a tiny tavern. If this has our source of income, Excuse I'm really going to need to make that a lot bigger. So Origin Half Goblin Job Steward. Meet Rivax, the new dungeon steward. In other words, the head stooge. Okay, oh. Who are you? Select a minion. Payday's coming up. Okay, a minion has an origin, a profession, a rank, and a salary. Grade 1 minion interns cost nothing. Well, you're not grade 1, you're grade 8. You, wow, you got very high expectations and a whopping 21 coin salary. Uh, a minion gains experience while working, thus increasing their rank. Higher ranking minions claim higher salaries but fail less in their tasks. Okay. In the land of Fang, the unit of time is the 10 day week. Jeez, 10 day week. Uh, every week, all minions receive their salary. The dungeon fees deducted each week are shown in orange. Okay, so our expenditure so far per week is 36. Is that my gonna every week? Yeah, every week we're spending 36 coins. So what have we got? Each minion has specific needs. If these needs aren't met, health and moral gauges will decline. Okay, so we've got to keep an eye on their health if they've been eating and bathed and things like that. So you've got to get them showers, sleeping quarters, make sure they've got the right foods. But yeah, as we get further into it, certain species will not like being together. Uh, the likes of um, goblins and orcs will not like being with elves. Uh, because elves in this game, they like being clean, whereas goblins and orcs, if I remember rightly, they like being in dirty surroundings. So you really do need to be careful with that. Yeah, I know, right? So minions die when they run out of health and resign when their morals hit rock bottom. So obviously they'll die if their health's too low. Or if their morals too low, they will resign. Okie dokie. If I may, isn't it a bit strange for an evil dungeon to have its tavern open to the public? Ah, yes. Well, it's a convenient way to make some money. But I'm not very good at managing it. I see. Well, it could prove to be useful. I like that when they're talking, you get the speech bubbles over them. Which is very handy. But yeah, if we if this tavern, because whilst I was uh, playing along, I'm gonna move this kitchen out the way and put it over here somewhere, maybe down here or something. And I'm gonna make this tavern like really big because it is our source of income. We're going to need a big tavern because uh, the more tables you put in it, the more people you can serve. So we have to take that in. To account. All right. So what have we got we'll here? We'll never be able to retain our staff with such rundown premises, Master. I have no money to spend on a luxury lounge for my lazy servant. <coughs> oh, but it's a matter of standards. Take the Temple of Wismo, for example. They have 18 toilets just for the servants. Jeez, that's a lot of toilets. What? Those frauds. Uh, well, do what you must, but don't go overboard. We're not running a hotel. Okay. Let's see. We won't get anywhere without bathrooms, for starters. Chamber pots and manure heaps are so last century. Okay, so here we go. We have to build bathrooms. And I'm probably going to put the bathrooms... Probably here. Uh... Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I'll put the bathrooms here. So down at the bottom left, you'll see construction. We now have certain rooms that we can do. Training rooms, treasure rooms, workshops, prison, library, kitchen. It all comes out to play with this game, honestly. So, let's crack on. Let's build the bathroom. So what you do is a click and drag to how big you want the room, as you can see. So I'm going to have the bathroom that big. And I want the door to the bathroom to be there. So we're going to need toilets. So I think I'll put the toilets there for now. I want one more toilet, I think. Actually, we'll put toilets there. I think that's looking alright. So there we go. Then down here it says validate. And it will uh, obviously have whatever you've put down. It will cost that amount. So there we go. So you, the time can be stopped or sped up. Speed up construction of the bathroom to get it done faster. Okie dokie. So down here as you can see we've got builders coming in. And the building this area for us, which is great. That is going to be our bathroom. Perfect. We now have a there decent we go. bathroom. Now, dormitories with beds. Oh, jeez. Well, I don't God, pay you the nap. Speaking um, of payment. Later, later. Super busy, magical research, and all that. I absolutely I love the wit that they've put in this. On the side. Right, so if I'm going to make this tavern big, probably all of this, I want a massive tavern. I'm going to move the kitchen probably down here. Um, right, so bathroom. No, 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 no. It's dormitory, isn't it? Come on, Mr. P, you stupid sponge. Right, so dormitories... These are bedrooms. Uh, maybe have the bedroom. No. Um. What about in here? Oh no 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 no. No. Can I click? There we go. Have the bedroom there. And we'll put a couple of beds in for now. Let's rotate. There. There. Oh no. Put it there. There. And there. That'll be enough beds, I'm sure. Oh no. So let's validate that. Five beds with a bedroom. That'll do. The builders will get that done. There we go. <coughs> They'll build the walls, build the materials. I know it's not a fantastic bedroom. I know it's possibly out the way, but if I'm going to want to make this tavern massive, because it is going to be our big money maker, Master, that's what we need to do. The living quarters improvements are complete. Ooh. Ugh. Not bad, but very expensive. We'll have to find some more money. If I'd wanted to go bankrupt, I'd have hired an interior designer. <laughs> I hear you, but given the state of the dungeon, I'm not sure <coughs> how we could defeat a party of adventurers, even beginners. If we're not up to snuff, it'll be your fault, entirely. But I just got here and, well, I do serve an evil wizard, not a charity. So true, so true. Right, so. The thing with this game is we are going to end up getting attacked by adventurers and heroes. You know, we are the villain. They're coming to come and raid our tower. We'll get them coming from over this bridge or around this back here they will spawn in here 
and they will come through this door. So we will have to be careful and take that into account. We have account. to develop this tavern to bring in some income. The old tavern keeper is gone. Yet another ungrateful <coughs> coward. I'm not dealing with this anymore. I've got better things to do. I must focus on my magical research and developing my management skills. Nice. I can handle it. So let's see. Sounds like we he's got great management skills. Customers, equipment for serving food and drinks. In the meantime, I shall subscribe to a few periodical publications about evil dungeon management. We need to get this up to date. Exactly. I wonder if he knows what he is doing. I don't think he has don't a clue. Don't you overspend. We want to extort gold from the poor, not waste our money on furniture for drunkards. Okay, so to select the room, we literally click on it, and that will select it for us. So the tavern attracts customers looking to spend their gold. Each item in the tavern has a maintenance cost that is automatically deducted at the beginning of every week, just like wages. The sum in orange includes salaries and the tavern's maintenance cost. Okay. Uh, the number of customers and the tavern's income depend on the number of seats. For the moment, your idiot minions occupy the places of your precious customers to eat. Great. Okay. Uh, what have we got? Select the editing tool and add items to the tavern. Okay, so we select the modify, and what I want to do is I actually want to make this bigger. So I want to come out to there. and out there but then we're going to need doors so I'll have a door there there and we'll have a door here for the kitchen I think that actually no 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 let's get rid of that door and we'll put it central because this is going to be the kitchen that's what I want as the kitchen so what if I go accommodate additional customers so let's just quickly throw in oh more tables Turn that white. There should be enough tables for now. Alright, so let's click on the validate. And that is a much bigger tavern now. This is going to be the kitchen. use a tavern as their canteen <laughs> we, we should take that into account lovely well first I want to do is I want to move the kitchen and I want to get rid of that door and that door and I want to expand the kitchen to there. So that'll expand the kitchen to that. So let's validate that. So then they'll move this stuff out and I can turn the rest of this bit into the tavern. Right, here we go. Let's get back onto this though. There. Table and sideboard. This should be enough to lure in a few dupes. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I hired an evil dungeon steward, not a lunch lady. Indeed, master. But we need some <coughs> revenue. Look, all these customers should earn us some gold. Exactly. 
The customers are the ones that bring in the money. Oh, here we go. Oh, wrong button, Mr. P. Get back in the game. Thank you. Press the wrong button. Orlov for debrief, Master. Hey, what's with this dull-looking goblin? Half goblin? Who is this brute? He is the dungeon swordmaster mm. and guard commander. So, are you back from the retaliatory raid? Affirmative. We made it to target location, the so-called Temple of Wismal. Enemy ambush fighting. 100% loss rate on our side. Debrief oh, over. Oh, jeez. They lost 100%. How the heck is he back then? What? You turkeys! <coughs> I was injured six times myself. We were expected. I am the guard commander, not a marauder. This requires specific operational preparation. Clearly. This doesn't speak highly about your abilities. <laughs> well, at least Revax is uh, being open and honest. Who asked you, you withered piece of lettuce? Silence, you two! Revax is our new steward. As for you, Orloff, maybe I should get a new swordmaster. Certainly, sir. But I'll complain to the Guild of Mercenaries and Dungeon Guards. This wasn't in my job description. Huh. <laughs> Cursed me the bowels of the Great Talifern. I'm so sick of these union demands. Beat it, both of you. I'm going back to my research. Yeah, of course he is. Hmm. I think we'd better try to collaborate. In our mutual interest, sword master. Yeah, affirmative. For now, you little... I mean, yes, steward. <laughs> we all know what he was going to say. We all know. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to edit this room. And I want to add walls. I want to add that part to the tavern. So now we've moved the kitchen over here. This needs to be moved. I will put actually put that against there. And we'll leave that there for now. So that is a nice big tavern. Absolutely beautiful. Probably put the bars around here. So they go get the bars, get all the tables and things like that, hopefully. So let's this go. This failed raid explains why this dungeon is so badly guarded. Anyone can <coughs> just waltz in. If we want to get rid of adventurers, we should deal with slackers first. Ooh. Affirmative. The downsizing caused by the incursion attempt on the Temple of Wismal is weighing on staff rotation. We must recruit new elite guards. Guards are expensive. I read in Dungeons and Despots that support roles should be outsourced as part of a... a atomized management of the company's processes. Don't you yeah. mean optimized, Master? Silence! You know nothing of modern dungeon management vocabulary. Oh, jeez. As for you, improve the guard, but with no superfluous expenses. We could hire a few interns. They shouldn't cost us much. We'd just have to think about feeding them from time to time. Affirmative. So... That's it for now. I'll bring them up to speed. What we need to do Trust now is we now Attention. need to bring in guards. So... There we go. The guard room is vital to the dungeon's defense. Place it near the dungeon's entrance. Uh, okay. Alright, let's... Guard room. I want the guard room... No, I wanna... I want to add walls. There we go. Uh, let's do that. Because we do end up unlocking traps that can sense things. So you want to put those in areas like here. You can't have them in rooms that are designated. You can't do that. So having them in the like open alleyway areas is where you can have them. So, uh, that's what we're going to do. Uh, will that be big enough for now? 
I'm gonna need tables. Mm. Let's just make it a bit bigger. There, but I think that'll do. And then, of course, door, 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 door. So we'll have a door there. A door there. We'll just have those two doors there. Yeah, I think we'll have that. And tables. Three tables there. I think that will keep them happy. Hopefully. Uh, actually, let's... Put the table there and there. There and there. I think that would be alright. Then the table in the middle. Alright, now we've got to put in lockers. Lockers are what you use to basically hire a guard. If I put one human locker down, that will hire one human guard. So you've got to take that into account. So, let's hire some guards. We'll have six for now. That'll be more than enough. So let's validate that. It might be a bit overkill, but I'd sooner be too prepared than not prepared enough. The first attack, I do believe, comes down here. But the next one, we will start getting on come from down here as well. So we will need to build another guard area just here. Jeez, you are snoring What's this really... voice in my head? You are snoring really loud, mate. Right, so I'll build another guard room for there soon. Right, let's speed up the process. Ah, the first interns have arrived. There soldiers, we go. attention! Line up in pairs in the front rank. Right, so there I we go. Here one are the soldier guards. I'm curious to see how he goes about training them. Ideally, we should find a pile of dirt and make them dig a hole to bury him. But, Jeez. but that's absurd. Negative. This is training through blind obedience. To think is to disobey. Come on, on the double, rookies. Hop two, hop two, hop two. Okay, here we go. We're getting a couple of people wanting to raid us. But we've got six guards stationed right here. That's right. Aim for the knees and Here the eyes. Go. Be sly and cruel. Honor and chivalry are for losers. Look how beautiful that looks. Yes, sir. They are hostile. Okay. Orlov for debrief. Oh, the intruders were evicted from the perimeter. Clean sweep. Ah, oh, nice. Finally, this is a dungeon, not a squat for teenage pipe smoking dropouts. Damn. Oh, and you grew to level two. That, I think, is beautiful. Hmm. Yes, please. Right. What do we got now? What's the, what's this? Rebax! Why are my minions so agitated? <coughs> I can't focus in such a ruckus. One of the servants is on strike, Master. He's protesting against his working conditions. I could send the guards to slaughter this slacker. Civilians are so entitled. <laughs> I'm not sure that's the best approach for retaining competent staff, Master. We must listen to his demands and fulfill them, if they're legitimate. I don't mm. care about the specifics. I just need this rocket silenced. Deal with it, or you'll get the whip. Incidentally, there's an article in Dungeons and Despots about the psychological torture of middle management minions. <laughs> Damn. 
He sounds too excited about that, doesn't he? So select the minion on strike. Anything That's obviously the cook. Uh, at the beginning of each week, strikes can strikes can break out in the dungeon, which potent with potentially disastrous consequences. Okay, strikes have the effect of annoying Zangdar. Oh jeez, that's not good. Uh, when a strike's energy gauge is empty, they stop protesting. If this happens, the moral of the minions is greatly reduced. Okay, so that's shown just there. Uh, the strikers' union always displays their demands. Meet their demands to end the strike. So, wants to work with their pet chicken. Are you serious? Wants to work six days per ten day weeks. Wants dental coverage. Wants five weeks off a year. Wants a raise. Wants the coffee break. Wants to be able to drink in the workplace. Wants five minutes per... Oh, wants to sit five minutes per hour work. Wants uh, a glass of water. Jeez. Ah, also wants Zangdar's... Ri well, that's not going to happen. That is unrealistic. Pff, you know that. Pff, you know what? Forget it. Their demands are unattainable for now. Just get rid of this ingrate by firing them. However, firing a minion costs gold. The amount depends on their rank. Okay, so 100, 104. Out with the striker. It'll make an example of him. Still, I should try to make sure it doesn't happen again. It's done, Master. Everything is back to normal. The strike is over. Okay. About time. Let's move on. I've just been informed that the Temple of Wismo has increased its reputation. While we've been sitting on our haunches, whistling <laughs> nursery rhymes. Ah. We should limit the risk of strikes. The dungeon won't be able to repel adventurers with disgruntled minions. Oh, Affirmative. Dear. To smash those little snoopers, you need motivated, and therefore well-fed, guards. These matters are unworthy of a high-level wizard. They're better suited for interns. Really? Of course, Master. I'll see what I can come up with, but we'll need a cook. As long as they're not too expensive and can cook sumptuous meals. Bear and beer stew, for example. Mmm. Nice. It's also necessary to adapt the food to each species. If we serve elfish fare to goblins, they'll start eating the elves too. Okay, so we've sorted out the strike. She got fired. Right, so what have we got to do now? We have to build Revax's office. Uh, can I have like his office here, maybe? So, Revax's office. Uh, that'll do, I think. Put a door there. Maybe there. No, the one door. The one door will do, won't it? You'll just have to walk around that way. Alright, so now we've got to put this in there. The desk of inhumane resources. Okay. Uh, I can put you right near the door. Why not? Just to make it inconvenient for everybody. There we go. Right, let's get the builders going. To uh, build, Revax, build Revax's uh, office. Oh, jeez. Right, so we are now in recruitment. Select the... I need to... Ah, oh, I'm on fast speed. I don't like it when it does this. Uh, so we need to... Uh, well, hire an orc cook. So there we go. So origin orc, job, cook, salary, nothing. Expectations, none. But we do have to be wary of their traits and their unique traits. So, orcish traits. Carnivorous. Uh, refuses to eat veg vegetables or lunches. And does not generate reputation in clean rooms. 
So we need to be... He needs to be in a room that is dirty and does not get cleaned. Ah, oh dear. You need traits. The minion triggers all traps they walk through. Oh, jeez. Okay. So when we set traps, they'll walk through them. Alright, let's just pause it for a second. Oh, I can't. It's not letting me. Oh, there we go. Alright, so click on the navigation arrow to display the second page. Okay, so... The origin of the minion determines its special traits and behaviours. For example, orcs are carnivorous, which requires your kitchen to produce meals of meat. Okie dokie, that is fine by us. Oh, hello. Got another person coming in. you're looking for a cook well yes but i just hired one <laughs> an orc cook it's the best i could afford are you qualified i sure am i've been a cook a barber adventurer surgeon executioner and embalmer i can peel and bone like nobody's business mel boots here to serve you with a preference for ale anyway do you have someone for your tavern well, actually, we don't. It is true we could use a good tavern keeper, but my budget's a bit tight. I'll skim my pay off the take. Come on, you won't regret it. I'll turn it into a first-class boozing den. All mm -hmm. of Fang will come here to get hammered. Just gotta keep the dishes real salty. Ah. Gotcha. Relocating towards the bar. March. Hop two. Hop two. Jeez. So your minions are eating at the tavern, reducing your maximum number of customers. A canteen allows minions to eat in a separate room which won't scare away your most wealthy clientele. So we now need to build a canteen for the workers. So here we go, canteen, we'll have it off of here. I think we'll have it there. Have that as a canteen. We'll have the door central. And we'll have the door central. I think we'll have that. And we'll have a table. A table. Hmm. Why is this one further seem further away? It is. See what? Well, let's sort these tables out because that is gonna absolutely bug me. All right, let's get a table there. We've got a table there. Okay. And we'll have... Is that see-through? That is really weird. Why is that bit see-through? And we'll have a table there. And a table there. And a table there. I think that'll be fine. It looks wonky and it's going to throw me off, but yeah, it'll do. <laughs> Alright, so that's going to keep them happy. Let's validate that. And the kitchen is absolutely filthy, so Bashing heads. he's going to be happy. <laughs> yeah, well, he's motivated, he stinks, and he's in good shape. Beautiful, that's what we like to see. Alright, let's get the canteen built. Right, there we go. Master, we have significantly improved the minions' living conditions. And for cheap, too. Oh, that's brilliant. And we'll serve them good. Cheap plunk, 
Hard ale and sausage that'll dry out your gullet. What? Who is this individual? It's, um, Mel, the new tavern keeper. I'll explain. Ugh, my patience is running thin. We spend too much on nonsense here, and our reputation is stagnating. It's not. It's getting better slowly. We're still a crappy dungeon, but... Still, it's better. Hmm. Consuming. Placing an order. How are you placing an order from all the way over there when the bar is... here? I think we need... another bar. We're putting another bar. Oh. I think it'll probably help increase the amount of people we can serve. Right, so what have we got? Hey, uh, no offense, but your dungeon's got quite a stench, don't you think? Reeks like a bunch of dead rats. What? No, it doesn't. Mm. We just cleaned the mess and fired the slackers. Just saying, but this morning I saw a cockroach so grossed out it puked. Mind you, I'm not the kind to wash the mugs every day or to take more than one bath a month, but hey, there are limits to filth. Hmm, it is true mm. that to attract a certain class of customers or servants, we'll need to raise our standards. Cleaning, improving sanitary facilities, and hiring decent domestics. Mm. Yep, exactly. Elves will do the trick. I know there are a bunch of lettuce munchers who think they're hot dung, but they don't mess around with cleanliness. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have to hire some elf cleaners now. So... Hire one elf. Why did it tell me to go on there then? If I need to hire one, I need to go on recruitment. And we have... Oxnalon Zevorn. Zelvorn. Elf, domestic, salary, none, expectations, none. But the elves are vegetarian, they refuse to eat meat or lunches. Floppish, does not generate reputation in dirty rooms. And carefree, triggers traps. Oh, great. Right, so let's select the bathroom. And to make them clean the bathroom, just here it says keep the room clean. If you tick on that... There we go. They will clean that room. So I want to clean that one. Uh, I won't have them clean that. I'll have them clean there. Clean the tavern. We'll clean that because we've got uh, human guards in there. Um. Yeah, let's actually have them clean that as well. So, there we go. Where is... Fat, salt and ale. Not Just you. the basics. Right, where is... Elf cleaner? I miss the trees. Well, you're in the wrong place, my friend. Right, anyway. So, let's get more going. Oh, the elf. An elf cook. Right, so, we will sort this out. Let's rotate that that way. They're going to need another cook. clean the room. I want to modify. There we go. And we will have that. And we'll turn that that way. We'll put the kitchens in ready. And pantry. Increases the storage of each type of dish in the dungeon by five. So let's... Uh, put 
One there. We'll have that there. That there. And that there. Definitely be able to store enough. But right, we need to go in here. We've done the pantry, we've done the stove, we've hired a... We haven't hired an elven cook. So, Ecodorn Ulurial. Okay, let's recruit an elvish chef. So right, now we need to place two showers. So let's do that. I'm going to place more than two showers. Uh, let's put them... Um, here. That should be more than enough showers for now. Just want to make sure we've got enough. And this mud inflow is reserved for the great greenskins, goblins, orcs and trolls. And it will allow them to dirty up. So if they want to get dirty, which they do enjoy, they will uh, of course get in the dirt and uh, be very happy doing so. Right, so there we go. Right, have we got enough tables? One, four. So we've got nine tables. Anybody waiting to be served? Wealth, Paul. Yes, sir. Oh, the guards actually stood. Uh, is he chatting her up? Hey, eh? is he trying to pull a fast one? Oh, but Think what might, might this object in the shower be? A faucet? I see. Fascinating. Okay. Rebax! The Temple of Wismal had marble columns installed. I just saw the etchings in the Dungeons and Despots magazine. Oh, not again with that rag. <clears throat> we need to revamp my dungeon's decor. This is an essential aspect of the, uh, the prolificacy of this organization's processes. Mm. Productivity, Master. But you said we don't have the funds to... Just make some improvements, or I'll turn you into a flower pot. And stop contradicting my managerial guidelines, or you'll get your termination notice from Orlov's crossbow. Well, that's not good, is it? Right. I am wanting to build another guard tower here. So I'm going to quickly do... Oh, I was going to say do that first, but it won't let me. Right, we've got to place decorations around. Uh, so let's do that. There. 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 Let's put these out the doorways. There we go. Uh, we've got a couple of benches. Let's put a couple of benches down there if they want to sit down. And we'll put a couple of square braziers, maybe. Put a square brazier in. I think that looks nice. Put a square brazier there. One on the corner. Um, if we scroll down, there are some more things where I can hang like pictures on the walls. I think that would be nice. So let's do that. One there. One there. And let's put one there. Just switch them up. There. Maybe that one again. And we'll have round here, there, and there. Uh, let's put up some of these banners. In between the bar, then obviously either side of these I think would look good. 
There we go. I think that looks nice. We need a little something here. So maybe both of the po photos, maybe? I think that looks good. What else have we got? We've got some plants. That'll do. Um, let's put some plants in here. There we go. A plant pot. And a plant pot. Do we need a plant pot in the bathroom? You always need a plant pot in the bathroom. Um, the bedroom, I think, will probably benefit from these. Maybe a couple of pictures. There we go. Um, a couple of chests. I think that looked nice. Yeah, I think that looks good. Uh, what else have we got? Right, let's put some of these in the guard tower. Or the guard area, should I say. There we go. Keep them happy. I might want more lockers along these walls, so... Do you know what? I'll just do that for now. Alright. I've just placed four decorations, so I think that will do. Let's validate all that. Let's get all of that built. Because the more decorations you put in, the more they're going to be happy. And the more... Your prestige will go up. Ah, I'm quite pleased with my choice of decor. Mm -hmm. I shall write to the Dungeon Orders Association of Fang to share my creative insights. Why would you do that? I hope this won't get us into trouble. <clears throat> oh dear. You know it's going to get us in trouble. I just know it is. Hello, I'm looking for the master of the dungeon of Nahulbuk. Well, I am his steward. How may I help you? I'm here about the letter he sent to the Dungeon Owners Association of Fang. She does not look happy, does she? She looks like one of those ones that literally are by the are book. Are you going to publish his article on interior decoration? I don't know. This is a matter for the DOAF Gazette Editorial Board. I am Doris Martadella, Head Inspector of the Dungeons Fund. Oh, I'm geez. here for your membership application. What? The DF? But, uh, we didn't apply for membership. There must be some mistake. Oh, geez. Your master wrote to the DOAF. According to DOAF regulations, any such communication is to be considered as a membership application to its parent company, the Dungeons Fund, unless expressly stated otherwise. Well, that sounds like most emails, doesn't it? Oh, uh, you get a free trial. Mm-hmm. But that's... Uh, oh, puss and boils! This is utter nonsense! What if we refuse to join? That is your right. In accordance with the DF regulations, as ratified through case law by all courts in the lands of Fang, oh, geez. we would be entitled to a compensation of 200,000 gold coins. Oh! 200... What? That's racketeering! It'd be easier to join the DF like most proper dungeons. I will have your master sign the documents. 
A measly 412 <clears throat> scrolls for a small dungeon like yours. Holy crap, that's a lot of scrolls. Cox and mutant rats! Rebex! In my office! Immediately! Oh, gee, wait, what? Terms and conditions. Oh, jeez. This is a full list of terms and conditions. They have gone into full length. It does honestly read like a full terms and conditions form. But yes, yes in red. Congratulations on joining the Dungeons Fund. I will now share with you all my initial reports requiring immediate action on your part. Oh, lovely. Spike is so tentacles! I can't believe we got played like this. Oh, I can already feel one of my migraines coming on. Relax! Deal with it! I've noted you lack mm. a space dedicated to temporary interruptions of the activity of the staff, assuming the dungeon's ancillary functions. This can hurt their performance and the profitability of secondary revenue sources. Uh, you... Damn, my hermetic administration class seems like a lifetime ago. Are you asking for a break room for our minions, so that they stop hanging out at the tavern? A crude simplification, but this would be a good starting point for a plan of action, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. The minions' moral gauge is influenced by three distinct needs. Room cleanliness, eating their fill, and entertainment. So build a furnished so break I? room. Mm. Uh, okay. But before that, I want to build another guard room. Uh, down here. And I want it to go across. Uh, let's go across there. And I want it to go there. Because I want to put the trap in here that alerts us if anybody turns up. I think that would be pretty good and we'll put the door here. So then we can put a load of stuff aligned along this wall. Because we're going to need... Right, so we can put goblins and orcs together and they, are, will, they will be fine because they like things dirty. We can put the elves with the humans because they like everything clean and they can be together. So let's get um, one, two, three. We'll get three orc guard lockers and we'll get um. goblin think that would be all right actually let's not put them against this wall I'll put them in here so you're building the wall there so let's build them along this wall so one, two, three, and then one, two, three. That'll do for now, three and three. They're going to need table in here. So we'll do that and that. Yeah, I think that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Just get that done. Right, now we need to build a break room, and the break room will possibly be in here then, because we've got a decent amount of space. So, break room. Can I just put the break room stuff in there? It probably would have made sense. Uh, we 
we don't need any doors because there's one there, one there, and one there. We're going to need uh, writing desks, which we'll put the writing desk. This is for the elves and the humans. They will use those. The card games will literally... I'll keep them happy. We have to use the games board uh, for them to actually use the card games. So, if you have the tables and you have this placed as well, they can play the card games. I know, right? Don't ask. I have no idea, but it is a thing. <coughs> right, let's validate and let's speed things up. Perfect! With a gaming table, the minions will get some distraction. Well, there we go. Ah, kudos, my friend. That should stop them from wearing out the tavern benches. Alright, so we've got a big guard area here. We might, might want to put some elves in here. We will need a bigger sleeping quarters. That's what I didn't put in there. Uh, guard room. I d um, is it not going to let me... Well, he seems happy, but that is where I am going to leave it for now. Everybody seems happy. Uh, Spike bread rolls braids. You're hungry. Well, we're getting there, all right. But that is going to be in the next episode. This was a long one, and these ones are probably going to be about an hour long per episode. So do stick around for it but this has been an absolutely amazing game don't forget as always hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up and of course slap that notification bell to be notified of any new videos that come out on this channel till then have a great day stay safe and i'll see you next time in my dungeon see you all then